What's going on guys? In this video, I am going to be calibrating my torque wrench. Intro. So if you guys follow me, you probably know I use this torque wrench for pretty much everything I can. Since I'm cheap, I use this as a torque wrench, I use this as a breaker bar, um, I use it whenever I can, whenever it's needed. Um, I don't have a breaker bar yet, but because I use this as a breaker bar, I throw off its calibration. So I'm going to show you guys how to calibrate this and try to do it as simply and cheaply as possible without buying anything extra. So the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is your torque wrench. And the next thing you're going to need is some kind of measuring tool. I have measuring tape. Um, you can have a ruler, anything you want, just so you can get a precise measurement. Next thing you need to have is some sort of weight, and you need to know how much it weighs. Um, I'm using my toolbox. I don't have weights anymore, but I do have a toolbox, and I measured it on my scale. I put some more tools for my other stuff, so this is exactly 30 pounds. What I'm going to do is I've got a little hook here that I just grabbed from my spare parts, and... This, I don't know why I have this, I just found it, but I kept it because I'm a hoarder. That's going to hook onto there, and this loop will be able to fit onto the end of the torque wrench. Right down here, it'll just slide on once we get to that. But really, I'm just trying to use whatever I have at my disposal. So, once we have all those things, then we can start to get things set up. And I've got a beautiful little note card here for you guys. So, like I said, you need any measurement. For me, I used 16 inches. And you need to measure from the middle point. So, if we measure from the middle point there. And I use 16 because the 16 falls in this nice little groove right here. So, when I actually hang the weight, it's not going to slide around even if it's, you know, perfectly straight. I just popped right there, right into the 16. Eh, there we go. So right in the middle, all the way to 16. And if you want to, you can go ahead and grab some painter's tape or whatever you want to mark it. Um, if you don't have nice little grooves like I do, set the mark so you know exactly where it is. But if you set the mark, make sure you have it um, set to whatever weight you're gonna have. Mine is set to 40 pounds based on this. So like I said, any measurement, you can do it in inches and then convert it to feet and unless you have a, a good footage that you want to use. Then times that by the whatever weight. Like I said, I've got the 30 pounds over there. You can use any weight you want. So you're gonna multiply in feet by however much weight you have provided and that is gonna give you how much your torque wrench needs to be set to. Mine came out to 39.9 repeated, so basically 40. And that is what I have my torque wrench set to. 40 pounds right there on the zero, right in the midline. That's how mine works. And since this is currently set, it's not going to move up and down. I have my measurement. It comes all the way down. 16 inches is on this groove. You can mark it if you want to. And basically, because I live in an apartment, I don't have a vice to put anything in, any kind of socket to actually do it that way. What I do have is some wheels. Depending on what your wrench style is, for mine, I have a point of adjustment right here on the side of my torque wrench that has hex keys. Now, the thing is, um, none of these hex keys fit right. It's really, it would be in between... The two of these have got an eighth here and a 764th. 764th is too small and the eighth is too big. So um, I'm going to put this in here as best as I can and use Mr. Hammer. So I've got my torque wrench thrown on there and just to show you guys, it's going to be this. And I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to set it on top, right where that little notch is where I measured 16 inches. So it's going to look something like that. I've got it set 
at the 16 inch mark going into the lug I have the wheel turned out from the car just so this would fit on here but this is the general idea of what you need to do and I have the weight placed on here the torque is 40 pounds it's set at 40 and it's not clicking so I need to get my hex screw in here and I'm gonna turn it there you go now it's a whole lot more straight I took off the hook that was on here and attach this directly on it so it could be more straight get better results so now that I put it in here I'm gonna turn it left until it starts to click the more you tighten this the more weight you can have on this side or more torque so for this 30 pounds I put it on here and it didn't click so I had to loosen it or turn it left until it did click Okay, so I'm holding it up right now, yeah, away from the tire, and then if I release it, it clicks, and if I lift up on it, and there, almost completely letting go at the, the little 40 that it's on, there it goes. So, that is right where it should be. You have to find the sweet spot, like I said, the more you tighten it, the further up you're going to go and the more you loosen it it's um, less weight well i hope that helped you guys out with your torque wrench issues so please subscribe like do all the fancy stuff the bell icon if you wanted anything in my video i'll link it down below so you can check it out on amazon and if you want to follow me on twitter instagram facebook i have all those accounts